Heartland tonight at 9. And now, the man the New York Times calls Canada's number one satirist. Here's Rick Mercer's Monday Report. I'm Rick Mercer, and this is Monday Report. Well, 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 Paul Martin is on a roll. He is continuing his vendetta against anyone who is in Jean Chrétien's cabinet. Today, he looked in the mirror and gave himself a week to shape up or he's out. <laughs> After a couple of years of being afraid of the stock market, we're getting back in the game. Our RSP contributions are through the roof in the last month alone. Canadians contributed a record five billion dollars. Of course, by now that's down to three billion dollars. <laughs> Our new submarines are almost ready. Yes, they're going to be state-of-the-art. They say that these subs can do things our old subs could never do. These new ones can go underwater. <laughs> of course, so could the Sea Kings. <laughs> Belinda Stronach. Belinda Stronach said that Canada's armed forces should establish closer ties with the U.S. military, which differs from Stephen Harper's plan of just joining the United States. <laughs> and officials in Springbrook, Alberta, now say that a derailed train is not leaking toxins as first believed. This is good news, but I'd still take the kids to your mothers for a few days. <laughs> New science now indicates the dinosaurs were not destroyed by a giant asteroid, but it probably freaked them out. <laughs> John Kerry has won the Democratic nomination. George Bush called to congratulate him, although Bush actually thought he was calling Jim Kerry. <laughs> he said, wow, man, I watched the whole thing on TV. You were dumb, but the other guy was even dumber. <laughs> And in an effort to save money, Toronto has announced it may stop its dead animal pickup. That'll get the tourists back. <laughs> Don't mind the dead dog, come on in. Have you been up the tower? And Ontario has placed an R rating on a violent video game to prevent teens from playing it. That ought to work, eh? <laughs> Because you all know, once you forbid them from playing with something, the teens want nothing to do with it. <laughs> and an artist who specializes in splashing large X's on walls in his own blood has won a $15,000 Governor General's Award for Visual Arts. You know, somewhere, there's a very bitter man with a room full of owl paintings. <laughs> and finally, a Toronto family has admitted to fighting for Al-Qaeda and staying in the home of Osama bin Laden. Now watch the Americans make a big deal out of this one. <laughs> There's lots more Monday Report coming up, but first, please, take a look at this. Well, this is the time of year where young people across this country are applying to university, and parents are trying to figure out how and why they should pay for it, which is why I'm here in Kingston, Ontario, home of Queen's University. Look, there's the university and the tragically hit. Look, there's Rob Baker, the guitar player. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rob. For this, a special report on higher learning in Canada. Spring starts when our heart beats pounding. So now the Tragically Hip were on campus. You were like the band on campus? Yeah, we were one of a couple of bands, but uh, we made a pretty good living putting ourselves through school, playing at Alfie's Pub and uh, various places, Clark Hall Pub. I was in Clark Hall Pub. Yeah! Clark Hall Pop. Uh, the students kind of shake it up, which is good. Uh, you're happy when they come back in the fall, and you're grateful when they leave in May. So why go to university? Because at the end, I'm going to have something very special, a massive student debt. My parents wouldn't keep me at home any longer. So why do you go to university? 
Um, well, my mother sends me here year after year. This is the third year. Five words, uh, fresh start with the ladies. My folks think I'm backpacking across Europe. Did you go to Frosh Week? I did go to Frosh Week. A lot of shaving cream, uh, a lot of alcohol at points, a lot of grass and mud. Over 4,000 tuition. So you residents. write the check for four grand and your son or daughter goes off, gets covered in shaving cream and drinks themselves sick. Welcome to university, I guess. And as with most universities, the first year students stay in residence. And I'm here at Queen's at the Cadillac of all residences, a brand new facility. We're going to check out some of the rooms. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. John, yeah? John, what's a floor representative do? Uh, I represent the floor. I'm a first year student. Let's take a look at your room. Okay. Not much in it, just a couple beers. Four beers and a slice of pizza. Yeah. That's pretty good. What do you like to drink? Uh, lick, other than just liquor. I don't know. Lots of stuff. I can tell you one thing that's in my room that no one else has. What's Are that? you filming right now? No. <laughs> yes, kind of. All right. I have a hamster. Shh. But sure. that's illegal. Yes, it's illegal, so. You know this is going to be on TV. That's all right. <laughs> look, look, don't they make a lot of racket at night and keep you awake? Yeah, yes, actually they do. That's what this box here is for. <laughs> this box is what snuck the hamster into residence. Oh, I see. And covers it up when the cleaning ladies come and clean our bathrooms. You have what? We have cleaning ladies that clean our bathrooms. There's cleaning ladies who clean your bathrooms? Yes, we do have them, yeah. They come in and they just clean the like, toilet and showers and sit. You've got to be kidding. Yeah. Why come to university? Well, it's, it's a great place to drink and learn, minus the learning. So why did you decide to go to university? Because at university, even I can get laid. Universities are ground zero when it comes to finding the future voters and, dare I say it, the future leaders of tomorrow. So here I am on my right are the young, what are you now, Tories, Conservatives, Tories, Alliance. Conservatives. And uh, over here to my right, to my left, are the uh, young Liberals, correct? Correct, yes. yes. Are you a Paul Martin Liberal? I am. Yeah. Yes. You're glad there was no one else running? <laughs> Why Harper? Uh, I think he'll do a great job, make a great Prime Minister. Yeah? Yeah. Like of Canada? <laughs> now, do you guys get along? Um, I don't know that we don't get along. <laughs> you might be left or right, but you kind of got some stuff in common. We all like to drink. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Is there a lot of drinking in the Liberals? Yes. Yes? NDP? You're potheads. <laughs> More so. At Queen's University, I'm Rick Mercer.